Hi everyone, welcome to part 2 of my Let's Draw Cats tutorial. If you're enjoying my content, please like and subscribe. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you've got a layer underneath your line art layer. Or you just want to go for a mid-range tone. Because I'm doing a black cat, I don't want to have it too dark. So I'm just going with a, a mid-tone grey. So as you can see, I've just done a layer under my line art and now I'm just filling it all in. I'm going to make sure my flow is quite high as well. This is just so I've, I'm actually covering the canvas properly and not having any gaps in my colouring. So as you see, that was quite quick. I have sped up this tutorial just so you can get an idea of what's going on a bit better. So I'm doing a ginger cat as well, but I want a nice cream undertone to its fur. So you want another layer to add in shading, so you want that on top of your base layer. I'm going to add in my highlights first but I'm going to drop my floor back down. I'm going to put it to around 3%. I put a slight bluish colour into this just to give the cat a little bit more colour in its fur. Sometimes black can have a bit of a blue hue anyway to it. So I'm just going to put some pink into the ears as well. This just gives me an idea of how it's coming along. So as you can see I'm just darkening the shades a little bit more now. I'm focusing around the eyes as well. So as you can see the cat's face is starting to pop now from the canvas and this is just because we're shading around it properly. I'm just going to add in sort of white chin to the cat. <laughs> I'm just highlighting the ears a little bit more because some light would come through the ears. So when I give the cat green eyes I'm just going in with a mid-range green but I've made it quite saturated as well. And I'm just putting some shadows in it as well. You can add in a bit of yellow or another colour just to highlight. So I'm just colouring in the pupils to make sure they're dark. What you could do now is you could just start gently swiping your brush really quick and just creating some fur. You've got to do this really quick. Just think of it almost like you're tapping the tablet that you're working with. And make sure your brush strokes are really quick. As you can see I'm bringing out some highlights of the fur now as well. And what I've done is I've put this detail layer above my lines. You don't have to do this but if you want to paint an effect it's best to do that. So as you can see I'm just working into it, I'm just using all those basics that we've got down already to give me an idea of how it's going to go. I'm just making sure I'm shading around areas that are being shadow as well. Try and think of a cat's face in 3D, it'll help you. I'm trying to blend out some of my line work as well. I just want a more painted effect on my cat. You can have a cat with just line art though rather than painted. So again I'm just picking out some of the fur and just trying to refine some of the details. Just adding some fur along the chin as well. As you're going along you can tweak your line work slightly as well just to give your cat a bit more character or a bit more fur. So I'm just trying to make that ears look a little bit more 3D now. So again I'm just painting in the fur and it's just helping me 
put a, put a character into my cat's face. So adding glitz into the eyes actually brings it to life now. You could just brush some of the fur out from the line work and it'll actually make it look like the fur is moving. So as you can see just adding some fur around the line art really helps it look more furry. Again, just adding in some shadows and highlights, you just gotta keep working at it. Cats have a bit of fur on the tip of the ears as well, so you can add that in too. Just trying to bring out a bit more character into the cat. I want it to look a little bit more feminine, this cat. Cats have a few whiskers sticking out of their eyebrows as well. So now all this stage is just about refining and colouring and working into it more until you're happy with it. Feel free to use reference images of cats to help you as well. And I'm just painting on top of my lines here. So I'm just bringing in some more highlight now. I'm really going in with that white. You can add in slight highlights around the eyes as well to make them look a bit more 3D. So this is the stage where you can add even more effects to your character, whether you want them to have longer ears or shorter ears, or whether you want them to have more fur. So quick strokes again. I'm doing this so fast as well. This just adds texture to your work as well. Instead of just having everything too blended, it's nice to just add a bit of brush stroke in there as well, and that'll help you have more texture. So I'm just highlighting the glints a little bit more in the eyes. I want it to pop even more, and it does look quite stylized this now. So I think I'm quite happy with this now. So I'm going to move on to the ginger cat. I'm going to add in a bit more white into this ginger cat though. I'm trying to add a bit of variation into the fur pigmentation. Again, just work under the lines for this first stage as well. I'm just adding some blue, I'm just trying to think of how like, the environment might reflect on the fur a little bit. I want really deep blue eyes for this cat. So again, I'm, I'm getting a brighter shade of blue, well it's almost like a teal colour. And that's just to really bring out those highlights. Just trying to block out every single feature on the face and then I'm just adding more detail in. I'm trying to think of some markings that cats might have on the face as well. Again, using reference might help you a little bit more, but there's nothing wrong with using your imagination either. Sometimes cats have something called a blaze on the, on the forehead going down to the nose. again just dabbing and adding some texture in but it just gives such a quick effect for you especially if you're starting out with digital painting as well so as you can see I just want to add in some markings my cat's got a giant M on his head so I'm gonna put it into this cat generally tabbies have this marking on the head as well But it is nice just to be a bit more creative sometimes, especially if you're drawing like a magical cat or something.
so I'm shedding some white fur coming out of the ears. But as you can see, I'm still working underneath that layer because I'm just blocking everything out right now. This is just giving me the base to work from. Just adding in some highlights on the eyes. As soon as you do this, you start to see the cat come into life. As I said in my previous tutorial, like I drew the whiskers on but I'd probably just paint them in, but it doesn't matter, it's kind of worked out for me because now they look a little bit more 3D. Now I'm just using some of my shading work to help me think about where the fur would blend. I will do more advanced tutorials on blending fur as well, but this is just a beginner's video. I'm just trying to get a bit more of that ginger out in the face as well. So you can see I'm just working into it best I can, but I will be going on top of the lines again for this cat as well. I'm trying to think of like where the, the fur might highlight as well. So where the shimmer is on the fur or the shine. And what I did then is I just dropped down the opacity of the line work slightly. I've just had to mask this so I can clean it up. But you can just use the eraser to clean it up. So now as you can see I'm just really going in picking the details now and this is on top of my line layer. I always tend to focus on the eyes and darken them. It just sets the pace for the image. So again just think about where the shadows will be on the face and try and add in some texture where you can. The nose always reminds me of an alien. <laughs> Cats do have like little eyelashes as well, but they're so small. Sometimes it's nice to draw them in with a bit of shadow underneath. Again, I'm just removing some of them lines and trying to make it look, look, look a little bit more painted. Feel free to just erase some parts that you don't want as well to clean up your work a little bit more. So I'm just curling those ears right up. This could even be like a, um, a, like a majestic cat or something, like a fantasy art thing. It doesn't have to look completely real. It can be just from your imagination as well. The ears seemed a little bit too dark for me then, so I'm just bringing some highlight in. Um. Again, I'm just putting some strokes into the chin where the hair is coming down. When I look at my cat on his mouth he always has like little tiny hairs so I've just painted some of them in as well. And again just some highlights where the light might come through the ears slightly. At the end of the day it just depends how stylized you want your work and how you want your cat. So again I'm just coming in with some really good highlights now. Trying to make the eyes pop even more. And this is where you could just add in your own little styles of stuff as well. So I've added like a little bit of a glow in the eyes. Some cats have like a glow in their eyes. I don't know what it's called, but I've drew it in here. So yeah, that's the end of that tutorial. I really hope you've enjoyed it and learnt something new. Thanks guys.